Hey y'all, how's it going? My name is Booper Your Song and I'm coming to you with a brand new video. So I have a lot of pickups in this. Um, most of them are personal and then some of them I purchased mainly just to sell. But I'll keep that stuff near the end. Um, I'll go through shoes, hats, pants, shirts, and then accessories. So we have five main topics today. Um, I'm gonna have another video soon. It's already in the makes because I do have stuff coming in. But this is all stuff meant for selling and that will be that. Let's start off with the shoes. And the first one is going to be the Balenciaga Rhino Derbies. Um, I've really wanted these. Um, I've had a horrible, horrible story about trying to get these. So back in, I'd like to say 20... 21 or 2022 i was trying to get these for the life of me like, i could not get it off the site every single time i ordered it it would just say pre-order pending and even if it didn't say pre-order it would just be pending for the longest time and it canceled on me every single time this happened two times i was extremely bummed but whatever well like i'll just I'll, if it comes it comes Eventually, my friend Kendrick decided to sell them, got for a good price off of him, and this is how I ended up with them, and I'm extremely happy with them, even if they're a little bit beat. Secondly, I have a pair of Martin Rose Square Toe Derbies, and these are super, super nice. Uh, they're very fucking funny too, so... As you can see here, there's a humongous crease on them. And that's actually where the toes are, like the toe bend is. And you'd be like, hey, why is the toe bend there? There's still this much extra shoe. So these are actually elongated. Um, I guess the closest thing or reference to this is like the new Balenciaga Romeo like mule. It's kind of like that where it kind of goes out extra and i don't know it's just really fun it's like an embossed leather this is not actual crocodile leather but they're really really nice and i my friend had them pre rebrum before they sent it to me and i did need a loafer so that fit the box and they're fun and they're extremely subtle and loud at the same time if that makes sense because when i wear them they just look like no more loafers but to me i know that they're they're super exaggerated. And next up, I have the Balenciaga Five Toe Vibrams. You can see here, this is the only special part of the shoe. It says 40, and it doesn't have Vibram on both of the toes. It only says Balenciaga on one side. And I think these are very subtle. Um, obviously, a very, very eye catching and polarizing shoe, but they're very comfortable for some reason. and. They're fun. Um, it's very annoying to put your toes into, but I think the shoe in general is fun. Um, now we'll move on to shirts. I have them all piled up. I'm reshooting this because I didn't like the flow of the previous one. Um, that's a tangent, but anyway. So the first shirt that I have here is a Lamp of Murmur long sleeve. I love the front graphic here. Um, as for the music, I can't say much for this one because a lot of their stuff is not on Spotify. So I'm still diving deeper into it, but uh, I do have a record that I enjoy very much. I got it as a birthday gift to myself and I'm just waiting to dive more into it. I can't really find a shirt for that album. I, I don't know if they had it or not, but anyways, uh, next tee up is a Spectral Wound long sleeve. Um, I do not know the album name for this. It's quite long. Uh, I didn't remember, but this is probably my favorite album from them. And I have a short sleeve version, but I cannot find it. I do not know where it went. Next up, I have another Spectral Wound long sleeve. Uh, very nice graphic. This album is good too, um, but not as good as the previous one. 
And again, I have the short sleeve version right here. And then next up, we have another Lamp of Murmur long sleeve. It's a large, so I have not gone too much wear out of it, but it's a very beautiful tee. And these are all printed on Gildan heavyweight or ultra cotton. So they fit very nice for Gildan. And yeah, that'll be it for shirts. Let me get into the pants now. What I have here is a pair of, let me see actually. I do not know the number on these. The tags do seem to be removed, but they are a pair of white tab corduroys and they are flared. They're very nice. In my opinion, the color is kind of hard to wear, but they're still a very, very good pair of pants. I don't know if you can see the, I don't know if you can see the flare here, but it's quite exaggerated. And I do like them, but it's very hard to make a fit out of them, especially when I wear the black on the upper and I feel like the bottom is too light for that, from black to that and then black shoes again. But yeah, I don't know. Um, that's the only pan I have. We're gonna be moving on to accessories. And I have this hat here that my friend Jackie from Singapore made. Uh, the front is inspired by the Playboy Cardi Ghoul paint. I think it looks good. When I got it, the paint on it was a little bit more dark. So I did sandpaper it down a little more so that it looks more rugged and not as, as vibrant to kind of like match the the distressing on the hat and it's kind of mimicking the Balenciaga hat by having the cutout on the sides and the piercings and there's a piercing on the back right here and there is also the little clip right here as well so I guess it's to attach to your pants if you're not wearing it which is very nice and shout out to Jackie for making this and he put for Boot Bridges song on the bottom next up we will be going on to a bit more of a big boy accessory purchase first and foremost you might have seen this before on my channel this is a Tudor big rose but this one has an extra little sauce it is the big rose with the big orange and it's on a champagne dial and also if you see here if it picks up, it is a little bit rose gold on the the markers. Um, if you look at it, this has the Rolex stamp on the backing and on the side because at this time period, Tudor was still using Rolex parts, I believe. Uh, I think. Rolex is the sister company or parent company of Tudor, but everyone always brings that up whenever they mention Tudor. So, you know, you'll never forget that. <laughs> Next up, another big boy cop is the Gerard Pergo um, Equation Soli. And this one has the astrology on the month. Um, I think this is considered a triple date or I think I think that's what it's called or I don't know what it is but there's a term for when it has the the day month and the actual time and this has all that and if you look really closely if it picks up there is astrology symbols on this in a previous video I did get just the dial um a Gerard Pergo movement dial and it's like really janky i was trying to fix it up only because it had astrology all across it and i like that part of it because my fiance is somewhat into that and this was the watch i wanted but i got the dial one because i was like ah eh, it kind of fits the bill so i guess that's just a testament of 
if you don't get something that you 100% want, don't get it at all and just hold out. Because I ended up getting this after a couple of years of looking for it. And then on the bottom right here, it says GP as well. And for the last accessory that I have, it's going to be this chrome heart buckle. This has been sold already. It's already accounted for. This is the reason why I'm making a video at the nighttime. As you can see, there's no natural lighting. It's just in a room with a white light. And as you can see, this is a pretty decent size for the buckle. Pretty average. It's like the gunslinger size, which is about 1.5 inch. And yeah, um, I think that wraps it up. I have a video coming soon. I have a big package coming in, maybe about six items. Um, and if my pre-order comes in in time, that'll make it around 12 and that'll be a, a pretty big video. And I think that would be worth shooting. That might be in the end of this month or in two months. So yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Wah! Wah!